Hello, this is Nicholas Tanek from yourkinkyfriends.com, and I have an absolutely wonderful guest with me tonight. An old friend. Oh my God, we we did a we did a show together, and um, she is uh, going to enlighten us. We're going to talk about cock and ball torture. We're going to talk about chastity. We're going to talk about, you know, um, sissies. We're going to talk about um, her writing. She's a writer. She writes. We're going to talk about BDSM on a budget. We're going to talk about um, feet. So <laughs> please, please welcome the magnificent evil Opal. Say hi. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? Please, for, for those who don't know, tell us about, about a little bit about yourself. Oh, a little bit about myself. I am a dom, a pro dom and lifestyle dom. I am based in Florida, but I love to travel all over the world. Um, I'm mature. I'm a BBW and I love going to the beach. Okay. <laughs> now you call yourself the silk. Dom. Yes, what, I do. Please, please expand on that. What is that? We didn't, we didn't, we didn't really talk. I don't remember talking about that in the last episode. Well, I have, I think, more than a bit of a silk fetish, and that plays a lot into the kinds of things that I, um, a lot of the kinks that I've gotten into, like, for instance, feminization, playing with sissies, that um, my silk fetish really feeds into playing dress up and playing with lingerie and things like that. That's kind of obvious, right? Mm -hmm. I also love to do like silk scarf and sari bondage. I cannot honestly say that I am a bondage dom, but I do like playing around with bondage. I'm the kind of dom that does bondage. I like to tie people up so I can do things to them, not do the bondage as an end in itself. That makes sense. Oh, definitely, definitely. But, and, and, but I do love the way it looks to have a sub tied up in pretty silk scarves, like a Christmas package. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what thing I have to admit about silk and satin, like I have, um, I, 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 I live with my dom, and you know we experiment with you know feminization and, and being sissified. And yeah, I've seen a few photos of you that were. Fun. You see photos of me. Where did you see that? I'm pretty sure I saw one or two in the Discord. Oh, unless yeah. I'm. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but oh, I, now you're blushing. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the things I have to admit, you know, like don't get me wrong, silk over lace every time. Boom. Like <clears> I, I, I will. I I will totally um, rather put on something silky. It's something that feels good against my skin. Then yes, it has of, such a wonderful tactile. Uh, it's so pleasurable. That's how I got into it. Actually, when I was really young, when I was like a teenager, I would literally go to the mall and stick my arms in the racks of silk blouses just to feel. Because I loved it so much. So when I say I have a little bit of a silk fetish, I'm not joking. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You know what? I had <laughs> this is going to be a weird story, totally left field. But um, <laughs> I had a I had a friend who worked at a uh, fur coat uh, a, a fur court uh, fur coat. A coat coat store, <laughs> and um, the guy the, the guys would go in the back and fuck the coats. <laughs> you guys are back and fuck the coats. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm. Right. I'm wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So last time I spoke to you, you know, you were you were you were making films, you were doing stuff, you were being a professional dom. What's new? What's going on? So much, so much, so much. Well, let's see. I just got back from a trip to New York. My oh. first time ever going to New York City. So that was really exciting. Did you go on the subway? No, I did not. Oh, 
I you missed. didn't do the subway this time, but oh, I've been yeah, on the yeah. subway. I've been on the subway in DC. I've been on the subway in Paris. So it's not like I've never been on a subway before. I've never been to New York before though. And it was pretty mind blowing for me. Yeah, so, it's very overwhelming. Yeah, it's, I'm, <laughs> it's not like I'm a, you know, a, a small town girl or a country girl, but um, I come from a smaller city and I am not used to walking out into the street, you know, walking out the door and there being just a flood of people mm -hmm. everywhere you go 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was so, you don't really realize, I think the people who live there don't at all realize and I never realized until I was preparing to go and right after I came back, how much of our culture is just built on a backdrop of New York. So many TV shows, so many movies, so many books are either set in set explicitly in New York or set in some um, random urban landscape that you can assume is New York. New York yeah. yeah. And, and it was just mind boggling being there and going, you know, I've seen this a million times and now I'm here in the real place. It, it was, there was I absolutely fucking love New York. Yeah. Um, I don't, I would love to live there. It's just, it's it, 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 the gentrification though got very, very, very expensive, you know? So it's like, you know, Fifty dollar dinners, you know, <laughs> or fifty dollar yeah. lunches and shit like that. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's talk about your interests. All right, one of the things you're interested in is CBT, cocktail mm -hmm. torture, and we talked about this before. Have you um, thought of any new ideas um, for cock and ball torture? New ideas for cock and ball torture. Or just just give us something fun. Give us something fun. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll give you a New York story. When I was in New York, I went to a CFNM party at a club there, um, and I wowed the crowd with a little trick that I like to call the Willy Whirler. Oh, okay. This sounds fun. <laughs> Well, not for me, but you know, oh, well, you know it's a specialized <laughs> definition of fun. We like to work with that specialized definition of fun, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> you take now. I'm looking around. Do I have a scarf or a ribbon handy? I have a piece of rope. So oh. you take your scarf, your ribbon, your piece of rope, and you wind it around the phallus, thusly, should wind it a little more tightly. La la la, like this. Oh my God. And you can, you see where this is headed. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you can vary, you can wind it more tightly, more loosely, and you can vary. Um, oh, I'm crossing my legs right now. <laughs> let's say the roughness with which you pull this off. But if you pull it off just right, that is to say, nice and quick and hard, like that. Oh my God, it's like rope burn. Yeah, yeah, well you get the rope burn and you get the lovely effect of his dick whirling around like this, flapping <laughs> in the breeze. <laughs> and of course he's thrashing around shrieking. It's very entertaining for the crowd. <laughs> no, 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 okay, so one thing I always ask, I always ask why. Um, I'm not necessarily in the cock and bull torture, but why do you think, um, wh wh why do you think men specifically like the older co they have cocks, but like, why, <laughs> why do you think people like cock and bull torture? For me, I like watching it because I'm like, oh, oh. Oh, go. Oh. Yeah, but like, it's not like, I don't get like turned on by it. But that's just me. To each his own. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but why do you think people enjoy this kind of fetish? Well, isn't it obvious? Mistress is paying complete attention to your dick. 
Um, okay. When, whenever, when else is the Dom just totally paying attention to playing with your cock? It's. <laughs> that's a, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, I didn't think of it that way. And thank you for um, enlightening me on that. And when it comes to um, cocks and dicks and stuff like that, let's talk about chastity. Um, we talked about chastity before. Do you, have, do you have anybody in chastity now? I have a sub who is in is under a program of orgasm control and he has not had an orgasm now for since around my birthday, which was in April. Ooh. So that's we're going on two months. Um, but he's not locked in a cage. Oh, so okay. he's, he's saving up for a uh, nice custom cage. That's a goal. Oh, oh, we have a custom cage and, and I must say, I've been bad. You've been bad? Yeah, I've been, I, 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 I've, been, I've been bad. What, if for some reason, um, I dress up, I'm, you know what Chatterbait is, right? Yes, yes, yeah. I've, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so what I do, what I do is I don't know, I don't know why. Heard I do some it. stories about what you do on Chatterbait, yes, sir. <laughs> I, I dress up as a French maid on Chatterbait. I fold panties. And I fold laundry. Uh huh. That's it. I just fold laundry. I fold. I fold my dom's laundry. That's <laughs> so it's like there's you know panties. You know. And people ask you to do things and you ignore them. So you're doing a little tease and denial show there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So all right. So um, you have you have someone in mental chastity for a, a certain. Now, one of the things that you you are popular with is mockery. <laughs> is mockery. What are some of the best insults that you can give to somebody? You know, because I I I personally I like I love Fembom. I am I am fucking love Fembom. You know, and um my 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 dom is actually I like to call her sensual dom. So she's very nice. You know what I mean? But every once in a while, she gets mean, and mm -hmm. I kind of like it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what? What are the what are the meanest things that you could suggest that 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 you would say to to one of your subs? That's a that's a tough question to answer because it's so individual. Okay, what you would say. I mean, there's the stereotype of, you know, oh, you pathetic loser, you're such a worm, you're not worthy to kiss my feet, blah, 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 blah. But that's so generic. I mean, yeah, some guys are going to enjoy that, but that's not, there's no intimacy to that. The best kind of humiliation and mockery is when it's really tailored to push his specific buttons. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when I notice that you're blushing or when I can tease <laughs> you about I saw what you were wearing in that picture you posted. I don't know if you were posting a picture, but okay. <laughs> you know, or I... Uh, <laughs> you are on, yeah, you're on Discord and I, you know, I, I do post pictures. Okay. All right. We'll go from there. All right, let's. <laughs> that's always so much more fun, don't you think? That's more fun. Oh, definitely, when definitely. It's yeah. Really yeah, personal yeah. to you. Make it, make it personal. Make it creative. Now you're also a writer, and you you've written for um, Creative Loafing. I did. I did write for their sex blog for a while. Yeah, that's that was a while ago, and under a different name. Okay. Uh, uh, do you want to talk about that or no? Sure, if you have questions about it. Yeah, so <laughs> I've, I've written for other sex blogs, I, you know, and stuff like that. So tell us about your work. <laughs> I think, you know, I think last time we talked, I was, I told you that I was working on a book of uh, stories. 
for mm -hmm. my femdom world and i am still working on that but i took kind of a side trip in that into um audio creation so it's still writing but i wound up writing mp3 scripts and i went into because there are so many stories that can be told in this world the idea <laughs> The idea is that there's, it's sort of an alternate history thing. Well, it's also where women just got sick of you guys' bullshit and we overthrew the government and instituted mandatory male slavery. Every man over the age of 18 is automatically enslaved unless he can come up with the cash to pay a freedom tax. And naturally, it's really, really hard for you guys to come up with the cash. So eventually, you all just get enslaved. You know, if I was like, if, if, if I'm a kid growing up, I'm like in my teenagers, and I hear about this, I would love this. <laughs> <laughs> it would be one of the things that I would absolutely love. Totally. Oh my God. All right. Right. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about feet. Now, there's something. There's something about feet. I mean, the being a a, a foot fetishist is it, it's pro, it's probably the the most popular fetish in the, at least this country. You know what I mean? But, banking are the two most popular fetishes. Yeah. Right here. So let, let me ask you this. What is, what is it about feet that make you, that, that, that make people gravitate towards it? Like the, the, the foot fetish. Well, what is it about it? And, you know, I, for, for example, I, like I said, I dress up as a French maid. And I, I, all I do is fold laundry. And you know what? A bunch of people, all they want to do is look at my feet. You know what I mean? So, 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 so what is, what do you think about, is it, what is it about feet that, that makes it so interesting to people? Yeah, that's a tough, that's a hard question. I can say what I what I really enjoy about the foot stuff I do personally as the dom. Now, mind you, I only do foot fetish from the dominant perspective. I only ever have. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. don't do it like as a vanilla kind of thing. Um, and what I really, really like is I just love having my feet worshipped. It just feels really good. It's super relaxing. Like, um, I could have my feet massaged versus having my back massaged. Having my feet massaged is actually more relaxing for me. Um, what, what guys or girls, anybody who loves feet, what they see in my feet, I'm not really sure. But I've certainly learned over the years that they like my feet because lots and lots and lots of people have come out and said they like my feet. And I find that very interesting because I started out not liking my feet at all. I, when I was, I know it's funny. Um, when I was a teenager, when I was a young woman, I had my feet were <laughs> Nice color. Yeah, that's, that's what my dom, she gave me red nails. <laughs> yeah, they're, I don't know, they're, my oh, you got black nails. That's awesome. Black nail polish. I wrote a book called Shit Black Nail Polish. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> <clears throat> That's awesome. Okay. So, um, <sighs> and it's definitely a Florida thing. As a Florida thing, there's even an old saying. Uh, once you come to Florida, when you get uh, sand in your shoes, you'll always come back. Once you have Florida sand in your shoes, so it's just a going barefoot, wearing flip flops, showing off your feet is a real Florida thing. So as a Florida dom, 
it's very natural for me to highlight my feet. Okay, last time, uh, last time we talked, I mean, I, I asked you this question again. Uh, I, I mean, I asked you from before. Um, you know, uh, the kink hole goes deep and like it, it <laughs> spiral kind of out of control. It's like, is there anything that you're looking to get into? Oh gosh, looking to get into um, more into chastity. <laughs> more into testing. You know what I really want to do? I kind of have a goal. This is something I haven't done at all, but I have a goal to get into kind of in the next five years. I want to learn burlesque dancing. Oh and my God. I know so many, I know so many burlesque dancers. You really came to the right place with this. <laughs> I, 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 like you have no idea. I love interviewing burlesque dancers. I've I, seen you do a bunch of them. Yeah. I could, I could help you out. I could, I could connect you with people and, and you'd be great. Like I've seen your videos, like, holy fuck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's let, we got to talk. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so that's that's definitely something that I want to get into. Okay. That I've never done before. All right. So um, you know, there's always the burlesque on a budget. I'm, I'm sorry, not burlesque. BDSM on a budget. Burlesque on a budget. You know, um, <laughs> you, you, do you have any new ideas regarding? Um, you know, I, I totally want everybody to. Um, uh, <clears throat> you know contribute to people you know if they if you have the money but not everybody has the money but some people don't have the money so well. so, so do, do you have any new ideas my, <laughs> my sorry i have to giggle i'm sure it's he's okay. not watching so it's okay to, i'm sure he's not watching so it's okay to say this my husband's submissive was in michael's the other day and she said they have wooden panels, uh, not not panels, paddles, unfinished wooden paddles of just the right size and thickness to be, um, you know, just the right size and thickness. <laughs> he asked me if it would be a good birthday present for him, and I was like, go for it. Wait, 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 wait. So Michael's just sell Michael's, the, the hobby store, yes. Or, or do they sell that? They sell it. What's my, Michael's is a food thing. Is it? No, no. Is I'm talking about the craft store. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they sell a bunch of unfinished wood stuff and they have, um, they sell them, I guess they sell them for decorative purposes and also as like cutting boards. So I can, you can put them finish it yourself or you can do wood burning projects with them. And yeah, totally perfect. Uh, all right, so we come to the final section of the show, and um, oh my God, Tangled Blue, I love you. Um, she sent me the jar, and the jar is I don't I don't know what I'm reaching out into this. There, it's a bunch of little pieces of paper with some things. Um. Yeah, and um, it, this is off the top of my head too, so. Um, we're together on this. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to say a word. If I say uh, chastity, you may say lock. But if you say something like, um, you know, um, tofu curry, you know, that's fine too. There's, there's, no, there's no wrong answer. You get it? Mm hmm. Uh, this is the lightning round. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <so stupid. laughs> it's still, okay. All right. Sissies. Silk. Chastity. <laughs> Silly. Okay. Yeah, it is fucking no silk. All right. <laughs> uh, straight jackets. Medical? The St. Andrew's Cross. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 what left into my mind actually on that one is someone's name that I can't say. Um, we'll just call her Diamond Ass. Uh, <laughs> that leaves a lot to the imagination. Okay, that's great. That's so good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> straight jackets. You just did straight jacket. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. All right. The um, Hitachi Magic Wand. Too much. Ooh. Yeah, it is. It is kind of fun. Yeah, she's using it right now. So, <laughs> so the, the the Hitachi magic wand. You just said that. No, no. Oh, I'm, I'm, what, what, what's the what's the the one that goes? What? What? What's the electric one? <laughs> The, the oh, one that's no uh, sex uh, toys. Yeah, the violet one. The violet one. I think I've lost you. The there violet you are. I'm here. <laughs> the violet wand. Faraday cage. Uh, okay. Chastity. You already said that one too. Yeah. Oh Why God. the bucket? Use the bucket. Where's okay. the jar? All right, Use I'm the jar. To... Use the jar. I'm going to the jar. All right. Oh, this is usually the last one. Cock. Or <laughs> <laughs> the clit. Glisten. <laughs> Lube. Nips. <laughs> Bite. Spork. Spork. <laughs> oh, good grief. You. Spork you. <laughs> Thank you. Pain. Pain? Oh, wow. I haven't heard that one in forever. I, I never hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Peeny peen. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to show you this. <gasps> you know, you know, Robin Wildheart? No. I met her in New York and she gave me this. And I am so happy about it. Can you see? The big adventures of tiny what? Tiny dick. <laughs> okay. Tiny dick goes to the beach and he goes to outer space and he has a picnic and he does all kinds of things. And I cannot wait to do a video with this. Is this a comic book? What is it? It's a coloring book. <laughs> he even has ball hairs. Look at the ball hairs. Oh my god. Isn't that hilarious? And in the back, this is the best part. Oh, Miss Miller, Miss Melissa's masturbating right now. <laughs> he has paper. Oh my god, look at those balls. <laughs> you can cut him out and there's dresses. You can dress him up. <laughs> I'm totally gonna have a sub. That I make pay. <laughs> that I that I make dress up, and so I want him dressed in something absolutely ridiculous, either something totally ridiculous, feminized, or maybe like a diaper oh, no. and a baby bonnet. Oh, and I'm gonna make okay. him color oh, this for me. Out? Yeah. While I taunt him about his penis. Yeah. Keep him in chastity. <laughs> yes, uh, obviously he'll have to be in chastity while he does it. <laughs> uh, oh my God! Okay, evil oval. It it has been an absolute pleasure. 
interviewing you again, and I hope I, I do it again sometime. Please take this time to uh, promote everything that uh, you want to promote, whether it's on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Just go. Everything. Oh, gosh. Well, I am Evil Opal or Goddess Evil Opal everywhere. Look for me everywhere, but especially look for me. Wait. There's one place I'm not Goddess Evil Opal, and that's OnlyFans. And I especially want you to look for me on OnlyFans, where I'm just Opal's feet. You can find my feet on OnlyFans, where they have their own OnlyFans account. <laughs> and they'll be watching for you. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's fine. You see my, you see my red toes. <laughs> yep, I did. <laughs> I had an amazing time. Please check me out at Nicholas Tanak at um, uh, on Twitter. Please check me out at Friends Kinky. Uh, you just uh, look up Nicholas Tanak. You can find me. Oh my God, it's getting late. Yes. <laughs> my my dog is calling me. She's she's masturbating as we speak. And. Um, uh, Remember the remember the cardinal rule. Be cool, be kind, and don't be an ass. Yeah, and keep an open mind. <laughs> be cool, be kind, and keep an open mind. That's good. Yeah, keep an uh, stay kinky, my friends. Love it. Bye. <laughs>